Hi everyone, uh, I hope everyone is doing well. I just wanted to quickly show you a very basic and simple application I developed in Python to show you what you can do with Python programming language as an industrial automation engineer. There are too many different programming languages like C Sharp, C++, R and so on for different purposes. But uh, I personally prefer Python because of several reasons. And the first reason, and it's really important for me, is that Python is a cross-platform programming language. That means you can develop one code and then you can run it on Windows operation system or Mac or Linux or even Android with some changes basically. And that's really important for me. Like for example, here I have it in my laptop. I have it on a very old uh, Surface tablet. Also, you can basically uh, run it on one of these mini computers. These are very low cost computers and they are perfect for monitoring applications. Definitely not for the control because they are not reliable enough. They can fail anytime. And basically yeah, these uh, uh, devices, they run embedded Linux. So let's quickly jump into the program to see what uh, I've got for you today. So I run it uh, on my laptop first. And then I run it on my Surface laptop as well. Yeah, here, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't give you a very good understanding of the power of the Python in terms of the uh, cross-platform because both of them are running Windows. But it's still, uh, you can see, you can run it everywhere, right? So yeah, let's... Uh, have a quick look what uh, I have it over here. So in this program, uh, because I didn't have any PLC or hardware to kind of inject some numbers from sensors to my computer. So basically I added some graphical objects over here. Again, it's really basic. I haven't worked on the layout or how does it look. Uh, so I added these four uh, graphical objects over here to inject some uh, simulated temperature values uh, to my program and what you see over here as you see we have a trending over here so this one let's assume this is for the pump number one temperature pump number two temperature as you see we have the trending again and you have you can see the temperature values are right over here and some uh, LED display objects as well so, similarly uh, we have it for pump uh, three and pump four I'm just injecting some simulated values because uh, you know I just want to show you another feature I added late, uh, later. Same over here, as you see, you can use your touch screen, tablet, or maybe smartphone to kind of uh, inject some numbers into the program. And um, yeah, it seems it's, it looks really good. And uh, let's jump over here. So another feature I added is a very basic speech recognition feature to this program. That's another powerful uh, feature, uh, feature in Python that uh, there are too many libraries for different applications. So here I just want to talk to the machine and the machine will uh, tell me the status of the system or any other information that you need. What is your name? Moss. Moss. What do you need to know? Time. The current time is 1319. What do you need to know? Date. Sorry, I could not understand what you said. Yeah, it can be catchy sometimes, for sure. Today is May 9th, 2020. What do you need to know? Sensor 1. Pump 1 temperature is 17. 
What do you need to know? Exit. What do you need to know? Okay, bye. All right, yeah, so it was really very basic application I showed you. And I hope it, you just got some ideas what you can do. Uh, just one uh, one thing to keep in mind, uh, developing this type of like the GUI or graphical user interface in Python can be a little tricky at the beginning. But after you spend a lot of time for, you know, to learn different type of libraries like uh, PyQt5 or maybe Kiwi or Thickener or anything else that I'm not aware of because I'm not the software developer for sure. You'll get up to a speed. Don't worry about it. Just start. As an industrial automation engineer, you need to learn one programming language. It's not just knowing how to program a PLC is not enough in the future for sure. All right. Thank you. And uh, let me know if you have any question. Have a good day.